The East African Legislative Assembly lawmakers today convened to deliberate on the East African Community Electronic Transaction Bill. No sooner had the debate started than the chairperson of the communications, Trade and Investment, Fred Mukasambide, asked for an adjournment. It's been our considered view that we adjourn the debate of today so that we allow the committee to look into the proposals of the Monetary Affairs Committee of tomorrow. This did not go well with his colleagues who accused the ministers of this African community of undermining them whenever private members' bills are tabled before the House. They have never taken the business of this House very seriously. It's like nobody takes it serious, the work of this Assembly. Since we started actually our business in this third uh, Assembly, it has not been very well with the Council of Ministers. Only Tanzania Minister Abdallah Sadala and that of Burundi who was sworn in yesterday was in their house. Because of your house, continuously, since the beginning of this debate, I have been using words towards the council, procedure, procedure. which are proceed words towards executive arm, which are not good. Intimidating. Oh, honorable, maybe, honorable Chair, raise a point of order if something is okay, not yeah. please, please. Even the Kenyan host, Minister Phyllis Kandie, was not present in the house. Including my own Kenyan minister for East Africa. He's not here and we are holding this session in Nairobi. I must be frank. The minister from Kenya, Honorable Kandie, I'm sure that some members here don't even recognize him. Our attendance has been poor. Many of the lawmakers in the House threw up pent-up frustrations at choosing the partner of state ministers of incompetence. Very worrying and sad for the community. We've kept on time and again saying that the community is lacking behind because of the sleeping of the council. A member shall not absent himself or herself from seven consecutive sittings of the House during any period when the House is continuously sitting. We need to evaluate what is even the performance of this. This is an organ of the community that we have an oversight role over the executive. We have to see what is it that they are doing. So that, again, if they are not serious, we tell citizens. Where any member is alleged to have infringed sub rule 2, the conduct of such member shall be referred by the speaker to the Committee of Legal Rules and Privileges, which shall consider the matter and report to the House. I don't like us to go that route of causing embarrassment to our colleagues who are not attending. I would like to appeal to Chair Council of Ministers to extend my appeal to your colleagues. Jingo Francis, NTV, Nairobi, Kenya.